Well, the Labor Day long weekends here, the unofficial end of the holidays, one last kick at summer before that fall feeling sets in and school starts. Good time to spend with family and friends and no shortage of things to do. Uh, it's going to be a busy weekend, so be patient if you're in line somewhere. Our Aaron Glazier joins us now live from the Inner Harbor with more. Aaron. Hudson, if you thought this weekend was going to be one of rest and relaxation, think again. There are just too many things to get out and see and do. <laughs> Ahoy, long weekend. With sunshine in the forecast, the 34th annual Classic Boat Festival is heating up in the Inner Harbour. Captain Dan sailed all the way from Honolulu and didn't even have time to change his Hawaiian shirt. It's a real privilege to be here and go ahead and participate in this wonderful event. The classic boats that come here probably make this the best wooden boat show on the West Coast bar any. <laughs> The docks are open from dawn to dusk. Admission is free and stepping aboard is encouraged. You can come aboard and sit with me and we'll talk and that'd be quite just fine. You can't come here and not enjoy yourself. When you're finished going for a sail, why not a twirl? The 144th annual Saanich Fair will open its gates bright and early tomorrow morning. This year's theme, what's cooking? The old-fashioned kitchen with the canning and the sewing and the home-baked bread. From a new midway ride called the Fireball to hundreds of vendors serving up everything from Indian curry to Polish pierogies, there's something for everyone, especially animal lovers. There's uh, a large amount of pigs this year in the pig barn and some little pigs, um, miniature horses, the regular horse shows, dog shows. Yeah, lots, uh, lots happening from 9 to 10 every night on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we close at 6. Admission is $10 with all money going back into agricultural promotion. And not to rain on your mini donut parade, but if you're traveling to or from Vancouver Island, expect increased volume on all major ferry routes. BC Ferries requests your patience and planning. They can go to the BC Ferries website, bcferries.com, and you'll see at the very top of the page there's travel advisories which we're showing you the up to the minute current conditions at our major terminals. So savor your last chance to soak up some sun and take in local events because this ship is about to sail into fall. Hudson, I had a peek at some of those boats and absolutely beautiful. The oldest one is over 100 years old. I know it's something I'll be taking in this weekend. Lots to do and lots of good corn to eat out at the uh, fair this weekend too. I'll be out there right by my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Erin. You're welcome. Have a good weekend. You too.